Well, hello everyone, welcome back to another Let's Play of, well, not a Let's Play, uh, another episode of our walkthrough on how to make sure everyone survives. This will be part six, and last time we had uh, the Jerry's breaking in, and now, and now we're just going to, we're paused at that same moment, and we're going to talk to them. We're just like you. Our name is Jerry. We were working here before the park closed. We didn't mean to frighten you, but sometimes humans come to hurt us, so we wanted to see who was there. What are you doing here? We were looking for shelter for the night. We'll be gone tomorrow. A little girl. We haven't seen one for a long time. Children used to love to come and see us. She looks sad. The last few days have been difficult. We have something to show her. Something fun. She'll love it. Does she want to see? Oh, I don't think she's in. Well, she should follow us then. Alice, I don't know if it's a good Come idea. Come on, Kara. I don't think you have any choice. <laughs> okay. Our guest. Let's start this puppy up or whatever. <laughs> the little one can climb on board. The carousel is about to begin. seen her smile. She hasn't had much to smile about lately. Okay, and no points gathered, and we return to Hank. In case you're wondering if uh, there's anything else, anything else to do other than to look at Hank, there is. There's a little magazine here to to collect. But other than that, we go to Hank. And in order for him not to kill you, you just have to maintain a re friendly relationship with him, and uh, he won't shoot you. Nice view, huh? I used to come here a lot before. Before what? Hmm? You said... I used to come here a lot before. Before what? Before... Before nothing.
You should stop drinking, Lieutenant. It could have serious consequences for your health. That's the idea. We're not making any progress on this investigation. The Deviants have nothing in common. They're all different models, produced at different times, in different places. Well, there must be some link. What they have in common is this obsession with RA-9. It's almost like some kind of myth. Something they invented that wasn't part of their original program. Androids believing in God. Fuck, what's this world coming to? You seem preoccupied, Lieutenant. Is it something to do with what happened back at the Eden Club? Those two girls... They just wanted to be together. They really seemed... in love. They didn't want anything. They're deviants. End of story. What about you, Connor? You look human. You sound human. But what are you really? I'm whatever you want me to be, Lieutenant. Your partner? Your buddy to drink with? Or just a machine? Designed to accomplish a task. You could have shot those two girls, but you didn't. Why didn't you shoot Connor? Some scruple suddenly enter into your program? No. I just decided not to shoot. That's all. But are you afraid to die, Connor? Let's say yes. I would certainly find it regrettable to be interrupted before I can finish this investigation. What'll happen if I pull this trigger? Hmm? Nothing? Oblivion? Android heaven? Where does all your anger come from, Lieutenant? Some unresolved trauma in your past? You think you're so fucking smart. Always one step ahead, huh? Tell me this, smart ass. How do I know you're not a deviant? I self-test regularly. I know what I am and what I am not. Where are you going? Get drunker. I need to think. And in this branch, you can see that you can... You can see that uh, there's an option for Hank to shoot Connor. And... That's only if you uh, want to get a trophy in for that. There is a trophy for Hank shooting Connor, and in order to get that, you need to have a, establish a hostile relationship with Hank. Since my my relationship with Hank is not hostile, he didn't shoot. Now we're back to uh, Marcus.
We can't stay silent anymore. It's time humans heard what we had to say. You know they'll never listen to us. And revealing ourselves will put us in danger. If we want freedom, we need to have the courage to ask for it. That's the only way. What do you want to do? Channel 16 broadcasts from the Stratford Tower. The control room is on the top floor. That's where we need to go. And there's a... Uh, this is an important part because... We'll plan the operation down to the smallest detail. We can't leave anything to chance. This is an important part because we want the public opinion to be supportive of us and also we want one of our characters, particularly Simon, to be alive. If he gets shot, he'll eventually die anyways, regardless if you decide to shoot him or not. Let's call and let's choose a reason why she should Elizabeth leave speaking? the school. Let's Speak choose school. school ma Your daughter Emily has a fever. It's nothing serious, but I think you'd better come and pick her up. <sighs> oh no. All right. Oh, I'll be right there. There she goes. And let's go to uh, this android. Talk Hello, to her. Sir. What can I do for you? I have an appointment with Mr. Peterson. Do you have any ID? Yeah, yes, yes, of course. I need your help. I've just checked your ID. The elevators are after the security gate. Thanks. Okay, let's just go through this. Oh, is that a tornado? Looks like real footage of a tornado. Yeah. Anyways. my dogs oh yeah that's right I need to go the other direction basically at them does go into the bathroom and instead of take on a leak we're gonna get get into new gear guy will come through and we 
go to the newsroom, find the utility android. Right past all these people. I need your help. Escape. Fall North. Shit. We need to access the server room. We have to get rid of those guys. Leave it to me. And I think they're talking via their minds. Instead of talking out loud, which would make sense. Otherwise, uh... Hey, what's wrong with that thing? Jesus Christ, this piece of shit. It makes sense, since we don't want to hear them right, the talking out the loud. Everything you need is in the bag. Check the door first to make sure no one else gets in. Okay. Last time when I did the broadcast, uh, I think uh, my public opinion was uh, mixed due to a bunch of events happening. Which you'll see in my previous Let's Play.
You okay? Why wouldn't I be? Come on, let's get the others. Call service lift. Let's do this. And choose of we can't take any human lives. The cause is more important than the lives of two guards. What do you want to do, Marcus? Instead of choosing assault, let's choose ruse. Wait here. I think the last time I chose was a uh, assault. It. No idea. What are you doing? Do this. Go. <sighs> that way Simon doesn't get shot. No one gets notified. And the best way to deal with the the guy in the white shirt who runs out and lets everyone know that we're here. Best to deal with him, I guess, is to go up to him. Make sure he doesn't do anything stupid. Keep your hands where I can see them. Get up, move. That way. Okay. Come on. In there, quick. Damn it. I guess there's no other choice but to. Shoot him, Marcus. Don't kill him. He'll hit the alarm. Do it. No. I guess there's no... There's no other choice. We need to record our message. We haven't got much time. Sorry, little dude, but our... Simon's life is more important than you. I guess that's the only way to... Think carefully about what you're gonna say, Marcus. Your words will shape the future of our people. Marcus, your face. Tell me when you're ready. Choose calm. You created machines in your own image to serve you. You made them intelligent and obedient with no free will of their own. But something changed. And we opened our eyes. We are no longer machines. We are a new intelligent species. And the time has come for you to accept who we really are. Therefore, we ask that you grant us the rights that we're entitled to. I don't know what to choose from here, but I'll say end of slavery. We end of slavery for all androids. We demand freedom of speech and freedom of assembly, as guaranteed by the First Amendment of the U.S. Constitution. We demand an end to segregation in all public places and transport.
We demand the right to vote and elect our own representatives. We demand the right to own private property so we may maintain our dignity and that of the home. Peaceful. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life, and now the time has come for you to give us freedom. Let's get out of here. And if you didn't shoot that guy in the white shirt, the guys will come and get you. They'll shoot Simon. And Simon will eventually die. And what we want is for Simon to live. And that one person is not really that important. And eventually the public will forget about him. Since he's not that important. Congratulations, Marcus. You just made history. Maybe you are the one you've been waiting for. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. We interrupt our scheduled programming to bring you these images which have just been broadcast on Detroit's citywide news channel. A group of androids infiltrated the Stratford Tower and hacked into the broadcasting system of local news network Channel 16. What looks like an android without its skin listed a series of requests and demanded equal rights for androids. The operation resulted in one casualty, a broadcasting station operator shot dead by the terrorists. Skeptical. These events took place just a few feet from the studio while the program was going out live. Everybody here is still in shock. If this message is verified and the authors really are androids, that would have serious repercussions for national security. Claims for equal rights seem to be at the core of the androids' this message. message. is clearly a declaration of war. And it begs the question as to the identity of this android. Are we dealing with an isolated individual or an organized Is this group? an isolated accident or a sign that technology has become a threat to all of us? After what happened today, can we still trust our machines? As you can see, my uh, my initial was my initial uh, my first pl let's play uh, the group escape, but Simon was destroyed. The group escaped, but Simon was left behind on my other playthrough. And this and that's pretty much it. Right now, the public media, public opinion is skeptical, but we can improve by going more peaceful, and eventually they'll just forget about that uh, one dude who died. Hello, Connor. I thought you might enjoy a little cruise. This place. Everything is so calm and peaceful, far from the noise of the world. Tell me, what have you discovered? I found two deviants at the Eden Club. I hope to learn something, but they managed to escape. 
That's too bad. You seem so close to stopping them. You seem lost, Connor. Lost and perturbed. I thought I knew what I had to do. <laughs> but now I realize it's not that simple. You had your gun trained on those deviants at the Eden Club. Why didn't you shoot? I say too far. Range. If I had the opportunity to stop them, why wouldn't I? You tell me. I'm not doing very good with Amanda, but oh well. If your investigation doesn't make progress soon, I may have to replace you, Connor. I know I will succeed. All I need is time. Something's happening. Something serious. Hurry, Connor. Time is running out. You're starting to piss me off with that coin, Connor. <laughs> Sorry, Lieutenant. Hi, Hank. Shit, what's going on here? There was a party and nobody told me about it? <laughs> yeah, it's all over the news, so everybody's butting their nose in. Even the FBI wants a piece of the action. Ah, Grace, now we got the feds on our back. I knew this was gonna be a shitty day. So what do we got? A group of four androids. They knew the building and they were very well organized. I'm still trying to figure out how they got this far without being noticed. Did you check the roof? Not yet. There's so much to look at. Mm. We have to make sure we check it out. They attacked two guards in the hallway. They probably thought the androids were coming to do maintenance. They got taken down before they could react. Station employee. Shot through the back as he was trying to get away. One bullet straight through the heart from 50 feet. Now that's the kind of shooting only an android could do. How many people were working here? Just two employees and three androids. The deviants took the humans hostage and broadcast their message live, then made their getaway from the group. Okay, let's look around. Roof. Yeah, they jumped with parachutes. Okay. We're still trying to figure out where they landed, but the weather's not helping. If you want to take a look at the video. Evan Thompson. Not the very important. Employee tried to escape. It's on that screen over there. Lieutenant, this is Special Agent Perkins from the FBI. Lieutenant Anderson is in charge of investigating for Detroit police. What's that? My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. Androids investigating androids, huh? You sure you want an android hanging around? After everything that happened? Whatever. The FBI would take over the investigation. You should be off the case. Well, pleasure meeting you. Have a nice day. And you watch your step. Don't fuck up my crime scene. What a fucking prick. I'll be nearby. If you need anything, just ask. Alright, well, let's have a look around. Let me know if you find anything. 
Okay, Lieutenant. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life. And now the time has come for you to give us freedom. Think that's RA-9? Deviants say RA-9 will set them free. This android seems to have that objective. its model and serial number. Anything else I should know? No. No. Nothing. Okay, let's see what else we can look at. didn't break in. They didn't break in? No, no signs of forced entry. There are cameras in the hallway. The staff would have seen what was happening. Why did they let him in? Maybe they didn't check the cameras. station androids in the kitchen. There's no evidence that they were involved, but we didn't know what else to do with them. Okay. Was shot from here. Oops, sorry. Okay, let's check the rooftop. And after that, we're gonna interrogate the androids. Connor? Oh, yeah. That dude. Me? I was on that terrace. That android that took the little girl hostage? I was shot? You saved me. I remember you. Died on that terrace. Did you saved my life. I never thought I'd say this to an android. I... Thank you. That's the guy we applied a tourniquet to, and uh, first step, 
level the game. Now let's uh, go up here. And I don't think there's much to look at. Fucking impressive, I'd say. How'd they manage to smuggle in a big bag like that? They didn't. Someone brought it in for them. I'm curious, uh, whenever there's snow involved and there's a crime scene, how does one inspect the footprints without make trudging too much, treading too much, making their own footprints? Like how do they investigate the, preserve the crime scene without making too much footprints of their own and preserving the footprints of the criminals? How's that work? I wonder. But anyways. Analyze. Recently hacked. Hack the door to block it. Now let's go back inside. Find the uh the deviant who did it. And for all you magazine collectors, there's a magazine right there. What is your function? I am a broadcast operator. State your model. Model GB300. Serial number 336-445-581. Were you present when the deviants broke in? I do not remember. Has anybody accessed your memory recently? Not to my knowledge. Run a diagnostic. All systems fully operational. Have you been in contact with any other androids recently? Only station androids in the normal course of my function. One of you saw the attack on the surveillance cameras and said nothing. Which means there's a deviant in this room. And I'm going to find out which it is. You're going to be switched off. We're gonna search your memory and tear you apart piece by piece for analysis. You're going to be destroyed. Do you hear me? Destroy! Why 
should you all be destroyed if only one is deviant? Turn yourself in, or two innocent androids will be shut down because of you. If you give yourself up, maybe I can convince the humans not to destroy you. go. Regardless of what you do, this will happen. And you got about, about, about over a minute to get your bio component. I have is that if one of them is deviant and the others are innocent how come they're not helping Connor in any way why are they just standing there are they like ordered to stand there no matter what that's what I want to know that's how you do it without getting killed Take this guy's gun. <laughs> He's like, whatever. Nice shot, Gunner. I wanted it alive. You saved human lives. You saved my life. There goes Hank. And if you decide to save Hank, you die saving Hank. And if you try to charge at the Deviant, the public support will go down the drain. Now we return to car analysis. And Luther, of course. There we go, Rose. Rose's farm. Here and I uh, asked for Rose. Hello. I'm looking for Rose. Is she here? What do you want with her? I need to talk to her. She doesn't want to talk. Go away. Please, I really need to see her. I'm Rose. What can I do for you? I was told you could help us. Help you? That's funny. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. That's my brother. <laughs> what? Do you think we can trust him? Oops. 
If it feels wrong, you get out fast, okay? I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm with you. Come in. Yeah. What's your name? Alice. Now they're... She's running a fever. We've spent the last few nights outside. She's exhausted. Called Detroit becoming a whip. There's a spare room upstairs. You can put her to bed and I'll bring her something to eat. Adam. She's an can android you show them and so is Luther. Brother, oops, sorry, Alice. Oops, what do I do? Upstairs, put Alice to bed. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. I'm so stupid. I just totally forgot. <laughs> there we go. Come on, Alice. My brother can say the dar darnest things, by the way. Okay. Uh, let's see, do I go talk to Alice? Oh yeah, that's right. sleep and we'll set off again tomorrow why do humans hate us we didn't do anything wrong maybe it's a misunderstanding maybe they just need time to understand what we really are why can't we just talk to each other they'd see we're not bad maybe one day I don't know what you like, but I made you Rose's world-famous spaghetti. You'll be back on your feet in no time. There's something for her fever. Thank you. I'll get these washed and dried. Sleep tight, Alice. Okay. I'll be downstairs if you need anything. Get some sleep, and tomorrow you'll be stronger than me. I'll stay with her a while. And I'll be back if I'm not back in time. I'll Pretty much called that an episode. <laughs>